let him use you. That phrase is a common refrain in the black church, often lifted in a shout towards the minister of the moment. Let him use you. And by God's grace, they did. Let him use you as he used Rosa Parks, whose peaceful resistance set in motion one of the largest social movements in history, and as he used Pastor Ralph Abernathy, who soon after organized the Montgomery bus boycott, helping to bring bus segregation to an end. Let him use you, as he used Dorothy Cotton and Septima Clark, who empowered a generation of voters through the Citizenship Education Program, and as he used Pastor Frederick Douglass Reese, whose work in Alabama led to the passage of the Voting Rights Act. Let him use you, as he used Dorothy Height, whose leadership in the civil rights movement for the first time gave a voice to the issues affecting African American women, as he used John Lewis, who fought tirelessly to end segregation and courageously marched from Selma to Montgomery. Let him use you, as he used Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who dedicated his life to achieving equality and justice for every American. Let him use you. They did, and history was made. And today, even now, you can almost hear them joining with that great cloud of witnesses exhorting you and me right now to let him use you.